Welcome back to E3 2018 with Shaq News. I am your host, Charles, the news editor with ShaqNews.com. And with me, I have Mark from The Bearded Lady. Hello. Yes. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, no problem. It's my pleasure. Uh, the Bearded Lady is behind the wonderful game that you're seeing right now, which is Mutant Year Zero. Now, for any of the people that, uh, any of the Shackers that know me, our community, you know that I am uh, the uh, tactical strategy enthusiast and fan. Um, that's what Mutant Year Zero is, but that's not all that the experience is. No. Could you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, it's a mixture, a blend between real-time gameplay and tactical gameplay. Uh, we have a real-time element where you can scope out your environment, you can look for items and uh, ambush enemies and sneak around. Yep. Um, what kind of, what, what, what was the, the beginning of the conceptualization of this game? What, what sparked the idea? Uh, well, the team always wanted to make a tactical uh, shooter along the lines of the uh, XCOM series of games. Um, but they are also uh, big fans of a Swedish role-playing game called uh, Mutant. And because the development studio is based in Malmo in Sweden, uh, a lot of the, uh, the team are uh, Swedish and they grew up this Mutant role-playing game. It was a dream of theirs to make the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is, did you play a lot of tactical games You know, in your background? Is that kind of the things you grew up playing? Yeah, yeah, I played tactical games as well. I, I remember playing the original uh, XCOM games uh, on their PlayStation 1, for example. Yeah. Gotcha. So for Mutant Year Zero, you have three set characters that you play as, right? Uh, not three set characters. There's no? three characters we've been demoing okay. at the moment. Uh, but uh, and we show three characters in the trailer but there are more characters that you can discover uh, as you play the game and you can recruit them to join your team gotcha what's some of the uh, stuff that inspired the design of these characters because they're, they're definitely very unique and interesting <laughs> I mean we wanted to make interesting characters with uh, interesting personalities and, and also interesting looks so uh, the, the mutant universe uh, includes uh, anthropomorphic uh, characters so we, we chose these characters because we thought they would be the most interesting looking uh, ones to start with. There's more to, to find in the game and there's more interesting characters. I said interesting characters a lot <laughs> doing this. Um, but there's, there's, there's more characters to discover as you play the game. Yeah. Got it. And um, so, you know, people that have played XCOM, they can see some of the combat and feel familiar with it. You know, using a gun, reloading your weapon, uh, throwing things. But there's, there's other stuff to it because of the mutant universe, correct? Uh, how much of that can you talk about? Okay, well, we have mutations. Of course, the game called Mutant needs to have mutants and most likely mutations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mutations uh, allow you to do different things. You can turn your skin to stone to protect you against attacks. You can jump really far, jump across large gaps in the, in the scenery or up to high places. And you can also fly and a lot of other things, a bunch of other things. Gotcha. Um, was it a lot of fun coming up with the different abilities? Did, was it kind of like, did the character design come first or did the ability come first and you work from there? Well, the characters aren't linked directly to the mutations that they have. Um, so, uh, no, it was, it was a lot of just sitting around the lunch table with the team and, and just jamming and, and coming up with fun stuff that we wanted to see in the game. And then we, we, we prototyped it, see if it made sense uh, regarding the, the gameplay and the balancing of the game and then we uh, in some cases we we brushed it to one side in other cases we put it in the game gotcha how long has it been in development uh two years two years do you have kind of like a release window idea or uh still later this it? year later this year yes gotcha. so uh, before christmas that's all i can say okay yeah. gotcha um so the bitter lady could you tell us a little bit about the development team uh, yeah we're, we're a, a small uh, studio based in sweden in malmo um, yeah, I mean, it's formed uh, with a mixture of uh, ex-IO uh, Interactive employees uh, who used to work on the Hitman games back in the day, uh, and then some uh, local talent as well. So yes, it's, uh, it's a little studio founded uh, by some friends uh, a few years back, actually. Gotcha. That's, it's got to be good to work with friends. <laughs> it's got to be relaxed. It was great. I mean, I started at the company nearly a year ago now. Uh, and um, I've known those guys for years before, years and years, so the first day at work was no sweat. I just came in and took my seat and it was easy peasy. Gotcha, yeah. and how's the reception been to Mutant Year Zero? It's been amazing. Uh, actually, it's blown us out of the water. I have people coming up, there was a father and son earlier today, they came out and said, oh, we've been really following your game, it's super exciting, and I had to give them a couple of t-shirts. That <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I paid them off with t-shirts. Yeah. I may or may not have one of those t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't got one, come and find us. <laughs> All right, so where can people find out more information about Mutant Year Zero? Uh, you can go to the Mutant Year Zero uh, website. Uh, you can look at the Facebook page for it as well. Uh, there's a number of different outlets. 
Yeah. And later this year is the plan for now. Later this year, absolutely. All right. Well, thank you, Mark. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Mutant Year Zero, honestly, this is going to be a surprise to you because I didn't tell you this, but it's my favorite of the show so far. I'm really <laughs> glad. It was great to have you come and play. So, <laughs> yeah, thank awesome. you. Are you hearing that? For me, uh, Shaq News, E3 2018. We've got some more content coming in the very near future. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.